Hello, I'm ABX Sleek and welcome back to this video. Today I want to go through what I can only really describe as the saga of us trying to get Minecraft co console to have coordinates enabled without having to have cheats, because of course we asked for coordinates for the longest time, we had this giant petition, it was the most upvoted thing, and they finally added them to the game, but then they're not really for survival because you need to have cheats enabled, and I want to kind of talk about the positive efforts you can make to change a game, because I believe in 1.3 they will be changing a lot of things to make it more console friendly, and one of those will probably be coordinates, but in today's video I'll be telling you not only how you can achieve something like that without just random making threats because that achieves nothing, but how you can actually make a logical case, but also I wanted to talk about how you can make it more likely we'll see coordinates in survival as well as any other features that you're into because there is like a proper feedback method and there's also some stuff like this you can do, but let's get straight into already shall we? Like the video if you like it because it helps out the channel and let's know you do like this sort of video. So let's start by talking about how they responded to our previous thing where people asked for coordinates, but we didn't apparently ask for them specifically enough because people were like, oh yeah, coordinates, 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 everyone asked for coordinates, whether you're a Pocket Edition player or a Windows 10 player, the idea of coordinates, no one can be against it because it's just something that makes the game so much more reasonable and accessible and uh, basically the uh, you know they responded to a whole bunch of better together feedback and they responded with this little tidbit about coordinates they said you asked for coordinates you know they're saying like how you know they actually made the game a lot better with our feedback and they said you asked for coordinates to be added to the bedrock engine to help you find your way we think folks who want to use them should be able to but we also want vanilla survival experience to have the added challenge of uh, needing to rely on other things for navigation so we've made it so you can enable uh, visible coordinates via a cheat using this in survival as possible but will disable achievements we think this is a good compromise because it makes the feature a available, but doesn't make survival too easy. So there's a couple of just giant flaws in this argument. I did point them out, and we'll get into that later. Uh, but the, you know, the, the, the first one is the fact that they just released the 3DS edition a couple of days before or after. You know, in that same time period, they released the 3DS edition. And you know what the 3DS had, edition has at all times? Coordinates. And it's not just coordinates like Minecraft console has, which by the way, uh, they're kind of saying that all Minecraft consoles are cheap, but it's not just coordinates in the same way Minecraft console has. They're visible on screen at all times. There is no way to even turn them off. And that's the funny thing about this. They're just essentially saying like, oh yeah, this version we released is essentially cheating. Except it's not cheating, this doesn't count as a cheat, you still get all the stuff probably done, which makes it really weird. Admittedly, there is no cheat mode in this version, but still, it's really weird by itself. But then there's the second argument, which is like, okay, so if you really don't like coordinates that much, then you added them to the game anyway, which is kind of weird, and then you said, you know, they had to be, uh, you know, they disable achievements, that's what makes a cheat. But the thing about this is, is no achievement is made easier with, uh, you know, coordinates. Like, there's no, uh, you know, single achievement you can look at and say, oh yeah, that one's made so much easier because coordinates, like, uh, you know, being able to tame a horse is just so hard if you can't see your corners. Being able to bake a cake is so hard without corners, making an eye golem. None of these things are really made too much easier, so they're kind of targeting something else. They're essentially just saying like, oh, we, do, we don't really want it in the game, we're just kind of adding it for a half little thing. And I pointed out this hypocrisy on Twitter. Again, I didn't just go like, oh, I hate this and make a threat to a developer. You make, make sure you don't do that, whatever you do. I just uh, posted this on Twitter and I said, apparently Minecraft console players have been cheating all this time, because that's what they said. They say, oh yeah, this is cheating and all these other things don't really count because it's it makes survival too easy, but that doesn't make too much sense because all the other platforms of the game do have coordinates. But, uh, so then in response to this, uh, you mean post that, uh, Squishy responds to that and says, wait, whoever wrote this, have they even played Minecraft? Sorry for cheating, because again, anyone who's played console has essentially, you know, been called a cheater by this whole thing. And then uh, Aubrey Norris actually responds, she's uh, the one of the global communications director for Minecraft. Uh, she responds by saying, I wrote it and it was a group decision. We feel survival is too easy with coordinates. And, you know, I think it's pretty good that she actually went and just responded and said, yeah, I, I agree with what I said just then, uh, like actually defending it rather than saying like, well, I mean, just because like this or that. No, she defended it and said survival is too easy of the coordinates, which, you know, it's I, I guess that is a logical explanation. The coordinates we have on Minecraft console, you can see them in the background gameplay, they're just on screen at all times, and that is kind of powerful. Like, you don't have to have a nice amount, you don't have to do anything, and uh, that's why I responded with this whole post right here, where I mentioned that the current coordinates are, of course, pretty powerful, but the reason that people are upset, and the, you know, the big kind of issue with their implementation is the fact that you decided how to implement our suggestion of coordinates, and you decided to do it in a way that you made too powerful, and then you made, uh, you know, it was like a, they, it, 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 to kind of summarize it there at the end, I say they implemented in a way no one asked for, and then they criticized their own implementation, and it's like, why not just implement it better? And yeah, that's uh, what I wrote right there, in a whole giant way, like actually trying to convince them, and a lot of you went in and said, yeah, that is, you know, that makes sense, I agree with that, it got something like 100 likes and a whole bunch of retreats, because people agreed with what I was saying there, and that caused that, you know, Aubrey Norris to respond by just saying CC Jeb, essentially saying, oh yeah, well Jeb made this decision, let's send that to Jeb, because I, you know, like, we, we changed the mind, and now we're changing the mind, hopefully, off uh, Jeb, the lead developer of Minecraft as a whole, and that kind of just shows right there that, yeah, you can make a difference on the game uh, in the simplest ways. If you think there's something like this where you have like a logical reason to back it up and you make a well-structured argument, it seems like the point can get across well. Again, I think this is important in all arguments rather than just trying to demonize the other side. Again, I whenever I see anyone make a threat towards them, it's like, this is literally just hurting your cause. You, you know, you could probably, you know, argue best by like trying to threaten people to do the opposite thing of what you want. Please don't actually do that. But no, it, it, it's something that really hurts your cause. But instead, if you're just like, well, I mean, 
mean, here's kind of the deal. Like, I agree on this point, but not on that point so much. And by making a uh, properly, uh, you know, logical wash jargon and hopefully having people agree with you, that's how you get stuff done. So yeah, uh, if you have something that's based on facts and not just weird feelings, or you're not just angry because there's a bug fix out, you know, there's weird people like that in the world. But if you you want you want to clarify that you're not one of those people and you're someone who actually can think things through, but you really don't like that there's either a contradiction of values or you don't like that there's just something that doesn't logically add up with everything else that's being done, and that's something you can do right. The second way, of course, and I have linked this on Twitter a few times, and I want to clarify you should go there right now if you agree with this, is to go to the feedback.minecraft website. They've got essentially a page where you can vote things uh, that you think should be added to Minecraft, or you can make a new suggestion yourself. So there's a lot of weird things there, although they still will respond to anything if it's a little bit, you know, too strange and out there, as long as you do get a lot of support, a lot of people do agree with you. Um, but that's also where you can post stuff like this, and as long as you, you know, make like a, a good argument, like this guy right here, they post a corner snap sheet, and uh, everyone agrees, you know, what it says right here, it's just like, wait, so how are you gonna tell people where things are if you wanna make something at a certain angle? You just can't do that right now because you have to measure it yourself, which is, you know, again, you can technically find your coordinates, it's just intensely painful. So rather than doing that, add some way to get it in the game, and they do that, and they got 634 upvotes. Hopefully, by the time this goes out, and a lot of you decide, just sign in for your Xbox Live account, just give it a vote if you agree with this, give anything else you agree with a vote, and then we can change stuff like this to make it hopefully for the better. And yeah, that's why I wanted to share this whole saga, because a little bit later, in responses to criticisms about how it was uh, rushed a bit, a little bit early, I thought Tom CC gave a pretty good response here, saying that it actually was released more than 50 days late. That's the better to give an update, uh, but I agree, now we need to at least fix the bugs and add missing features ASAP as soon as possible. And yeah, uh, that means that I really feel like 1.3 is going to be the update where they add a bunch of the missing features. This is going to be really the feature, you know, the update about harmonizing console to PC. If I if I had to guess, this is probably the update where they'll add the Switch to it as well. But yeah, I think it's really, uh, you know, it's a really promising thing that they're adding these things slowly. And I think it's uh, it's promising signs when we hear stuff like that from developers where they're like, yeah, if there's missing features, we should add them. And I think as a community, we just need to be clear about what we want. And we need to say it in like a, you know, like an actual, you know, trying to convince people way. Because I see some people really hurting the cause by even making the threats or by doing this or that. Don't do any of that. Just say like, hey, I think this should be in the game. Either tweet it at a developer, I'm sure they read their tweets, or go to the Feedback Minecraft website because now we've had like at least one success story from there. Uh, hopefully we can have some more. And uh, yeah, with that said, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like if you liked it, share if you really liked it, subscribe if you're around here. I make videos like this one every single day on my channel. And if subscribed, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.